All right, guys, uh, I have another thing that I was able to do. I now have the computer connected. I put, you know, all those thick mats and the, and the battery, that small battery is almost dead for me trying and cranking and everything. But well, I put the, my, my battery booster, let me turn it off so it doesn't die on me. And um, so one thing that I noticed, I have my thermal camera and the computer is open. I was able to see, let me show you these captures. I was able to see that one spot on the computer, when it reaches 168 degrees, see right here, hopefully the image, I guess, better. So right here, right, right in the center of here is, uh, I'm not sure because my eyes aren't as good if it's a, a processor or a capacitor or what it is in there, but when that reaches 157 degrees, the car starts. And when you turn the ignition off, it goes down to like, 87 very cold i mean very quick i mean obviously the shop is not that cold but it's going hot and cold very quick so my goal or my idea was okay well let's, let's heat this up so i got my heat gun out i got it helping me i heat it up with a heat gun with no ignition and the car started instantly so i'm going to reproduce that with you guys I'm going to get Ed to help me. You're not going to be able to see much of uh, the thermal camera, but I want to show you that. Ed, do you mind? So I'm going to tell you when. Let me turn the booster on. I tell you when. No ignition, right? No ignition yet, right? Till I tell you, just crank it, okay? Make sure this is warm, all right? I don't want to heat it too much. All right, go ahead. Instantly. Instantly starting. Turn it off. Now I'm going to see what the temperature, because right now it's still warm, because, I mean, this heat gun goes up to, like, you know, 190 in there. So... That whatever is in there has to be hot for the computer to work. So right now it's in 140. I'm going to let it cool down a lot more. No ignition, right? Well, obviously, I can see the temperature is dropping down. So it's now 134. And it's because now I apply heat to the whole computer because, I mean, this is not a centralized temperature. So it's going to stay a little warmer because, you know, it doesn't dissipate the temperature that quick. But right now it's in 120. It started. Start. See a long cranking. Oh, turn it off. That was still not such a bad cranking, and it went up to 167 really quick. So I will have to let it cool down. Let me feel by hand. Oh yeah, the computer is warm now by the heat gun. But look, it's starting very normal. Can you take the ignition off? Take the key off completely. All right. I'm gonna turn this off. This is still in 120 degrees. Oh, yes. This heat gun just and being, you know, I protected so much now with the peak mats that the actual temperature is sustained more because of the same situation. I'm in 111 degrees, 110. Try once again to see. Okay, now we got the long cranking. Okay, that's it. All right, guys, I think I... I am pretty sure now the computer is the issue. All right, guys.